flip man, flip man. Uh, it's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Get that bag. I'm here. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right, we are live. All right, guys. So, um, good afternoon, depending on where you are. Good morning. Um, well, we're going to do this exclusively in the Facebook group, but uh, I think we could take a different approach on that and we can make it live on all the other platforms and just we'll do the, um, we'll do the, um, comping outside this uh, through the Facebook group, which I'll put that information up there. But it's wholesaling real estate with the flip man. Wholesaling real estate with the flip man. You can actually just text the word group to 205-964-5243. It'll take you over to the group. Some of you all are already members of the group. If you're not, you just have to go through the little approval process. It is a pro private group. So, so again, uh, we'll, we'll be uh, doing... This is live comping. We'll do comping outside of um, the live comping because um, I'm like uh, I'm trying to solve um, obesity, uh, trying to get uh, more people to understand what makes a great deal or not, because uh, that's the number one reason, in my opinion, why uh, new wholesalers or wholesalers in general, normally, I guess, newbies. They, uh, they either never do a deal or they technically just fail and give up uh, on wholesaling because they don't ever get this part, knowing what makes a great deal or not. Uh, being able to recognize great real estate deals, whether there's houses, land, multifamily, self-storage, or just commercial in general, um, is uh, a, 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 a very unique skill that can, can, can feed you and the ones you care about uh a long time or whatever so i got my guy tori in here in um in uh memphis in the, in memphis in the background here to make this thing go smooth er so uh we'll answer any questions that you have uh for sure but uh the objective here is to um is to uh uh to try to help you get um uh your properties comped or whatever so so you can go ahead and post those in the comments section, depending on the platform you're on. So we're also live on uh, Instagram too, uh, Tori. And if you can, oh okay, All right. pull that up on your um, phone. You know, uh, Streamyard allows you to do do it on Instagram. Now I, I, I treasure the day TikTok will do the same thing, or whatever. So, uh, <laughs> but but again, you can post. Um, you can. Uh, post your uh properties here that you want us to evaluate or if you just have a question in general or whatever so um junk will try to do this a lot more hopefully we'll give you some enough notice to know when these are happening they're generally going to probably happen around this time right here around 12 noon eastern and um and uh we'll try to do our best to add some value, get what you need answered or whatever. So, all right, uh, Debbie, what's going on? I see your message there. Um, somebody named Young Stacks, I see your message. Good morning. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, we're here to comp and we'll be using a couple of tools here. I'll pull those up, um, starting with Zomps, which is free. Uh, it is the Google enhancer uh, to help Google become more real estate investor, wholesaler friendly. Um, and we'll be using Zillow, right? Uh, for sure. Along with uh, Delia later, AKA prop stream in some cases, depending on the property itself. And so um, somebody already got one ready to go. Miss uh, Debbie and scooter do. So um, you ready to rock? Yeah. All right. Let me remove this um, banner here. All right. So, you gonna do that one on on YouTube? Yeah, I'm a, it's gonna present right. everywhere. Okay. That's yeah, it's gonna present everywhere. All right. So let me uh, share my screen. 
Oh, I got another one. Okay. Oh yeah, it's gonna come in from YouTube. Uh, you, you, you can put your. Put I'll your keep up with them because uh, I see it's it's gonna. Be yeah, you may have. They they gonna probably start coming in pretty regularly. You may wanna. I don't know how you may screenshot them or something so you can. So we won't yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep track of. Them. All right. Okay. So so we're gonna be using Zomps, right? Um, again, a good part of it. Uh, put the two together for you guys to use. It's not for me to use or whatever, but you know I use it all the time uh, for houses and land. Uh, in reality, um, I initially uh, put it together. You know, had it developed um, based on making it easier to um, evaluate land. So, but here we are. And make sure to uh, remind them to let us know whether it's livable or not. Yeah, yeah. Let, let us know if the property, in your opinion, if it's livable or not livable. Uh, please uh, let us know that. And if you're on Facebook, I don't think we can see what your name is. It just says on our end, Facebook user. So if you'll um, if you'll let us know what your name is also, we like to try to identify people by by their names. But uh, so we start with Zomps. So, all right, so Zomps can only be used currently. Got something in the works coming, though, that's going to change that. But um, Zomps can only be used um, to, what am I trying to say, Tori? It can only be used on a desktop or, or a, a laptop. Can't be right. used on a tablet or smartphone because it's a Google Chrome extension. So what you'll do is you go to Google Chrome, and I'm going to remove it and then add it back real quick so you'll see how it looks. So once you get the Google uh, Chrome store, web store, you uh, hit add Chrome, then add extension, and then boom, you're in the game. All right. So now what you'll do is go over to Zillow. Okay. Once you have Zillow, you input the address. So what's the address? The first one is a 5545 Greenfield Avenue, which is, uh, she's saying that's a, um, Debbie and Scooter are saying it's an empty lot. It's, oh, it's a vacant Indiana. lot. Yes. Okay, good. It came up. Okay, so um, all right. Um, let me see here. One second. Okay. All right. Um, what we got here? Okay. So, um, so I'm going to let me let me make sure I got everything clear here. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to hit the plus button to add this. So. Click on the map. If I zoom out, okay, uh, so I know where it is right here. So I know that's the area that I'm going to be targeting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to more. You always want to do that to reset all filters when you start looking at a, a different property. So reset all filters, hit apply. I'm going to go over here to sold. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to deselect on the home type. I'm going to deselect all. And select lots and land and we should be uh, right in yeah right in this area right here all right so we don't have um uh immediate lots immediate lots that have been sold right in here right okay so um we do have some up here right uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch this over to houses just to see if there's a difference in the price point. Okay, so uh, what those houses are selling for is what I mean. So let's see what happened in the last 90 days so I can remove some of that. Okay, so where our lot is right in here, 77, 131, 77, I mean, 70, 330, uh, 220, 190, 146, 88. Uh, we do have this 330 up here. Let me go back a little farther. Let me go back uh six months okay so we got one uh 131 okay so the price point of houses down here appear to be lower than the ones up here see that's where data comes in you have to be just just think through this stuff right 
So we don't have any lots that sold down here, but that's sort of what you would expect because it would cost more to build a house than what you can sell it for down here. So somewhere down here, a lot, how big is that lot? Let's see. Um, it, don't show. it don't show. So what else? Let me see. Let me go to uh, home details and facts. So it's, it's half an acre. Okay. And let me see what, um, let's see what um, size these houses are sitting on. All right. So let's look at this one. Home facts. So this house um, on 0.25 acres. Damn it. All right. <laughs> All right. So what, what was that address again? There it is right there. It's, uh, okay. I got it. Yeah. All right. So uh, this house here, let's look at that one. Uh, just trying to see what the normal size lot here. This is a small lot, so that's very small 47, 480. So that's like point maybe one to one because a, an acre is 46,350 square feet. So that's almost 10 percent, 11 percent of that number. Let's look at um, let's look at this one that's worth 190. And they really did their thing on that one. Mm. Okay, so that's a small lot there, probably 0.2, something where somewhere in there. All right, so that it is a it is a decent side lot. So something like this, um, what I would want to do is so this is where prop stream becomes valuable uh to you. Um now we're gonna approach, I'm I'm gonna have to approach it from the standpoint that you know, I know I can't um on a lot that size. Uh, maybe you can build two houses on it, depending on if they would even split the lot to do that. And a lot of times they won't. Um, what was the address? Um, oh, I'm, I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to see what the, um, I'm trying to see what the county assessed value is of the lot. Cause not enough act, there's no activity in there to tell me what they're selling for, which is not good. Number one, uh, the county says it's worth 23,400. Okay. So I would try to get a lot like this, maybe for 5,000 or so. Right. All right. And, and try to sell it maybe for 10 or 15, you know, something like that, but there's no activity in there. So it makes it difficult on something like that. All right. Um, what we got? All right, we have um, Young Stacks left the property 205 14th Court North, Birmingham, Alabama 35228. 228. Okay, so that's probably over in midfield. Okay, um, 35228. Hmm, that don't sound right. Let me just okay. Google it and see what happened. I thought it was 204 would be when I saw the okay. address. Yeah, that 228. Three, five, uh, okay. Yeah, 203 is what I'm showing here. And actually, so, but that's Avenue versus Street. Is he sure on that? Let me let me see here. Yeah, um, that's what he got. 35228. Yeah. Um, what he said, Avenue uh, or Street. It says court. 205 okay. 14th. Okay. Cool. Okay. I didn't put the complete address in there. Maybe I did. Yeah, it's a two oh. It's two oh four. I think. Um, I don't. There's not going to be a two two eight. That oh, he said right. the wrong zip. He said it is the wrong zip. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That's what I thought. Um, <laughs> I know a little something. Okay. Didn't sound right. All right. So I'm gonna clear this from the previous one, and let's add this one. All right, and so we're gonna. Oh, damn, I didn't do it right. Let me see. So let me go back and grab this address. All right, um, hmm. 
He said that's that's it. The one you're looking at. That's it right there. That's what he said, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh oh, I got I had west. Okay. North. All right. Uh so here's the property right here. Uh wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that the first one? North, okay. Okay, so, okay, there it is right there, okay. All right, so I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to remove the boundary up here. Go ahead and uh, reset all filters. Get my activity. Deselect all on the home type. Select houses only. Hit apply. Then I can zoom back in here. Okay, uh, 14th Court North is right here. So we're right in here somewhere. Okay, so um, let's do the last 90 days. See what we got to remove some of these. Not enough activity in the last 90 days. Let's see the last six months. Uh, a little more. So we're going to have to do a year. Let's do 12 months. Okay, so I'm just going to take all of these right in here. Uh, so I'm gonna use my draw tool and I'm just gonna draw hit apply all right and all right hit okay all right so let me go ahead and make ours the target all right, so it's a 1950 build. Ideally, we like to try to stay within five years, plus or minus. So 1955 to 45 would be ideal. Um, this one is a lot newer. This 1964, even though it sold for a lot lower price point. We're going to remove that one. And so what I, how I set up Zomps is try to do a process of elimination. So these lower ones here, they're so lower. Or we can just go ahead and remove those. But you also can use those as a reference um, that, uh, like this one here, is basically a block over, right? And it's over 35. So let's see the, the condition it was in. I can't, it doesn't show any photos. But that is a good reference. But I'm just, we'll just hold that in our memory bank. But I'm going to remove these here. And so now we're probably at our real number, right? Okay, so um, how we do this is, so we, we eliminated the year, so we, we're right there. So none of these are the same square footage. So the way you make the adjustment and the way the appraiser will make the adjustment is based on price per square foot, PPSF. So this column right here is your PPSF, right? And we're trying to come up with this average, which we've already accomplished, but to explain it, so this this one right here, the two three three fourteen court north, is sold for fifty two dollars price per square foot. So what you do is take this square footage, one thousand two hundred eighty four, and you divide it into this price that is sold for sixty seven thousand. All right, and that'll give you fifty two. This one here sold for fifty four dollars price per square foot. So if we average those out, we're at fifty three. So what Zoms does is going to automatically average take the average of this $53 and multiply it times our square footage of 1,117 and gives us a suggested ARV of 201,000. I mean, 59,201. So we'll basically say 60,000, right? So I'm gonna hit calculate. So Zomps automatically fills in the, the uh, suggested ARV and the square footage. Now, this is in an area where it's basically a rental area. It's difficult to do retail or fix and flip, more of a rental area. So running a, a formula will, uh, using the normal formula, normally it, 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 it really doesn't work because the repairs can easily be more than what the house is worth depending on the size and what the, what repairs are needed. So if I don't change anything here, and we say this property is livable, what we do is normally $25 if it's livable, $40 if it's not livable. You can change this back and forth, right? It'll slide it over back and forth. And the, and the numbers you hit apply, the numbers change, but we're gonna go with livable first. So we'll just do both of them. All right, so livable, $25 times 
1,117 square feet is a repair estimate of 27,925. Now, uh, just like you can, you'll adjust this number sometimes when you're uh, doing a renovation in a house in a house where the uh, the the um, materials are more. You know, like if you're dealing with a million dollar house versus a hundred thousand dollar house, the countertops may not be the same as far as what they cost, just because of the design, materials, or whatever. So similar to this. Okay, so if this house is level, I'll slide this down probably to maybe $20 a square foot instead of 25 hit apply. So that does reduce the, reduce the repair some. Now, the next thing you have to do is determine how much you're going to make. We normally do 10% of this number. I'm just going to change this to 60,000 just as a flat fee, right? Okay. And um, so basically, if you just did 10% of this number, the ARV, we're saying we want to make $6,000, right? Hit apply. So your offer, what, what you need to get, if it's livable, uh, you need to get this for 15 or less. Well, it says 13,660. The red number what, is what you offer to a seller. And you'll put it out there to your buyers around 19,000. We'll basically say 20,000 to make that $6,000, right? All right? Now, if you can get it cheaper, obviously you can make more on it. Okay, now let's just say if it's not livable. See, this is where the formula really doesn't work in this situation. Because that 40 is going to probably still be consistent. $40 times the square footage I hit apply. So now it's negative. They have to give it to you. If they give it to you, it doesn't make sense. You see what I'm saying? Oh, wow. It, 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 it won't make sense because the repairs are for almost $45,000. The house is only worth sixty. dollars You right. see what I'm saying? So you can't use the formula in that situation. So you have to just think this through. But assuming this is not livable, uh, most people that deal in those areas, they know that the repairs may exceed the value of the house, but they're going to make that money through rental income over, over time. So if you could probably get something like this, if it's not livable, you know, maybe 5000 or so, wholesale it for 10 boom, you can make some money, maybe even, maybe only 8000 make two or $3,000. So when you get started yeah. getting that 60000 ARV or less, sixty five. Uh, I think maybe 75 is the cutoff. Then this formula becomes is all it comes not as useful because of the amount of repair if it's not livable. If it's livable, you can start start to still use it, but if it's not livable, it makes it very difficult. Right. So, so and I know you probably know that area. Is it easier for that investor to tear it down and just rebuild i mean no no because you know you're still not going to be able to sell it for much more than 60. Okay. you know you may can get 80 you know 8 90 or something like this because it's brand new but the, the cost to 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 of a new construction will be more than what he can sell it for gotcha because okay. even if it's at a hundred dollars a square foot and he built a hundred a thousand square foot house that's a hundred grand he right. might can sell it for that might it'd be very mm. difficult very might okay. you okay. know what i'm saying so uh but normally it's going to cost more than normal people build bigger houses i guess or whatever now if it now if, it, if he can get a rezone and they turn it to a duplex then it would make sense to spend 150 200 you know because you can get double the rent for you know that one location or whatever so but normally sense. you know that's difficult to do if it's not okay. already zoned for that you know so all right so um you ready for so the next one? that one out yeah so now I'm, I'm gonna start to rip through most of the rest of these. I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to explain as much as possible, and I'll okay. just reference to go back, you know, watch the beginning of this. So some, some people probably coming over to this late or whatever. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I got about ten p properties now. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna we'll rip through these then. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, the third one is one fifty, and I'll spell the street is M A D. E R I A. All right, give me that number again. 150. M A D E R I A. Yeah. No, no, no. It's Columbus, Mississippi. Wait, you say 150 M A D E R I A? Drive. Drive. Okay. Okay, there we right go. Here, Columbus, yeah. All right. 
Now, Mississippi is a non-disclosure state. Uh, so um, the, the sale price is not uh, made uh, public what it's sold for. So we have to backdoor it. Well, we'll use probably PropStream just to sort of reconfirm what I'm about to do. But, um, uh, well, Gigalator PropStream. And, and, but uh, just keep that in mind. It's a non-disclosure. So is Texas. All right. So I see where my property is right in this area right here. Now, Columbus is a small town, so just keep that in mind also. So I'm going to reset all my filters. Um, I didn't pull nothing. All right. Uh, yeah, very few sales here. So what's for sale? Ooh, it's going to be tough. All right. So um, hmm. it's going to be tough. All right. So let me grab the address. Um, and I'm going to go over here to prop stream, see what it says. Uh, Zillow says 155 though. Okay, interesting. Uh, so in small towns, you just don't have enough activity to um to run comps um normally, but we'll we'll try our best. All right. So what we got here? So nothing. All right. So let me go out. Uh, maybe one mile. Okay. So we do have the one comp right here that sold uh just in November. So the 1975 bill dollars of the 1980. Okay, so it sold for 196. Ours is a little bigger. Uh, let's see, was it financed? So that'll be a good comp. All right, so okay, uh, new conventional JTS and company, whatever that means. Um. Yeah, so it was financed, so they go through an appraisal process. So we'll we'll at least say one ninety five over here, right? Okay. So what I'll do is, so now I have to just manually because I don't have any comps to pull. I'll yeah. just manually go here to Zomps and um and you, we can use the calculator on Digger. Let's let's do that this time. So we're going to use okay. the calculator on Digger later. So now you can use the uh, calculator on Digger later, whether you're on a smartphone, tablet, PC, or laptop, pretty much any device. So you go here to calculators. So if I put in uh what do we say 195 all right and our well, 190 and our square footage was dun, 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 was uh 1852 so if I've changed this now it's going to automatically change it for you you don't have to do anything it's going to automatically change so now we have to put in how much we want to make so uh 10% of 195,000 is 19,500 so we'll just say 20 grand just to round up. So all right, now based on this if it's livable, uh it need to be around 70,000, right? Or less. And you'll put it back out there at 90,000 or so to make 20 grand. If it's not livable, you need to be below uh 43,000 or less, put it back out there around 63,000 or so to accomplish 20 grand. Okay. Right. You there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm okay. Here. Yeah. So that could be accessed on daylater.com, you know, so just to make sure people know that's available. Um again, guys, just throw it up real quick. Um let me go here. So you'll be able to get your get comps uh beyond um today now forget the little uh the the time and date there but text uh join to, to join text group the 205-964-5243 uh we'll do that in the private facebook group now a lot of you all may already be in there so we're just trying to wake up that group create some activity so you know i'll do more comps there you know outside of the live stream here just want to make sure you guys are aware of that so um, as you have heard me say, it is the number one reason why people don't ever get this because they don't get this part. All right, what we got? Um, Shayla posted 2082 Cabinet Shop Road in Roland, North Carolina. Boom. There it says it is. the payoff amount is. Was one hundred and forty-three thousand and some change. 
The house sits on three acres of land. The borrower wants to walk away with fifteen thousand. It's not livable. Okay. All right, I remove this, make it the target. All right, so let's locate it on the map here. So it's in this area here. So we hit reset all filters. Um, mm, let's see, we got sold in here. Sold. Okay, we got a little activity in here. All right, so not going to use these over here. Um, well, I guess I can. Let me see. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna start with these um these down here first, and then I'll I'll add those in a second. All right, so remove filter. Let me make sure these are all houses first. Deselect houses. Oh, I removed all of them. They must have been mobile homes or something. All right, so I guess we can take these two right here. Uh, they're really priced different. All right. Um, and is this a house? Yes, this is a house. Okay, so we add these two. Must be another small town, low activity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have to do our best here. All right, so um, here's one that sold on the same street, but it only sold for 50 grand. Uh, it was a 1935 bill, so that's not a, a, a good one there. All right, so based on this, this property here sold, hopefully, ah, no photos. Damn it. Um, ooh, makes it tough. Uh, no photos, but this property here sold for, it was a 2015 single family, uh, sold for $80 a square foot, so over 129. Yours is quite a bit bigger. Uh, so I'm going to roll with this number, we'll say 185. So what, what are the details on it? Uh, said the payoff, the loan payoff is 143,000. Yeah. Three acres of land, and the seller wants to walk away with 15,000. Says the borrower wants to. I so, don't know what so, what, so what was the payoff again? 143,000. So basically, 145, 15 there, 160 is only worth 185. Yeah, it's, it's not an opportunity as for as far as a, um, a wholesale deal, you may be able to do some type of creative financing, but they're gonna want. It sounds like they're gonna want fifteen thousand or whatever. So I don't, I don't know if this one gonna make sense based on what they want to do. And then, um, so it's, su it's such low activity in that area that it's gonna make it difficult on something like this. Very difficult. Okay. Very difficult, my friend. Uh, let's see. Next, I have a question from uh, Alton Harvey. Okay. This question is, so when I get the seller on a contract and I talk to the buyer, do I still make a video of me walking through the house to show the buyer? Always. You want to make it, you want to use technology as much as you possibly can to make it easy for everybody involved, obviously, including yourself. If you're already out there to view the pro out, there at, out there at the property, you, you want to leverage that time by taking photos and video of the property that can be used later to market the deal. Make it you know easier to uh, see what your buyers are getting themselves into before they actually go out to inspect with their own eyes. But it can at least save everybody some time. Either they're going to be interested or not, or they're going to be either not interested, interested or highly interested based on those photos and videos. Okay. Uh, next property is from uh, Terry, and the proper address is 5016 Fix, F I X, Run, Grand Junction, Michigan. Fix, no, it's two, two words. Fix, space, run. Yeah. Okay. I guess this is a mobile home. Yeah. Um, now this property is for sale. Um, um, let's, let, we'll look at it. Um, maybe a little bit more difficult to comp this, but, uh, so let's try to, to reset the filters. Um, uh, we're going to go here. We're going to compare apples to apples. So we'll see what other manufactured properties are sold for. Um, 
only show one that's sold here. Uh, what, what what was theirs? Is this the same address? It didn't have a B in it. I noticed there's a number B on there. Oh yeah, that must be a. Um, it may be a. Um, it may be a um, home a park. park. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, she said it's supposed to be Fox Ron. She put <laughs> Fix Ron, but it's Fit. This Fox Ron. Okay. I don't know if we're looking at the same property because um I think it just automatically it does work. Okay. So I yeah, it, just, yeah. it, so did it have a B on it, Terry, or I don't know. Um it, it figured it out anyway. Yeah. Um yeah, this one it's currently for sale. I guess this is the right property. I hope they can identify it is getting a decent amount of views on here um per day, 42 almost at five percent they're close to where they need to be on price they could probably if they dropped it down to maybe a hundred they'll probably sell it fairly quickly or whatever so um sitting on three acres uh this one is hard to evaluate um it looks like they're going to probably sell it for close to asking so there's no real opportunity here unless it's just something you want to live in or whatever but other than that is like not that much of an opportunity here Okay. Um, Maria, this is a question. Maria Lugo. Um, my name is Maria. I'm new to wholesaling. I live in New York and I do not know how the process is as New York is an attorney state. Um, going through that right now uh, on a self-storage facility. Um, you just have to have your attorney that uh, the, the buyer has the buyer side has an attorney, the seller side has a, an attorney. So, you know, it's, it just goes from there, you know. So, does that mean you have to have an attorney? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, okay, it does. Yep, it does. All right, next address is 205 Red Oak Road. All right, let me change this um, banner down here, this ticker. Uh, get, uh, do you, uh, do you. you see you better change something. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna, so they can know to um, join the group and uh, get their properties comp after this uh okay. your property evaluated uh after this i'm i'm gonna I'm throw this question question at you i just want to see how you answer it uh text okay go uh, ahead. maria was asking how did she get an attorney um what for for what we're talking about yeah uh, in in New York, in New York. Um, if, if probably in the group, somebody will recommend a, an attorney that's wholesaler friendly. That's what you're looking for. Text the word group to just in the in the Facebook group that the information I'm about to post here on the screen. Text the word group to. I almost got it. Should have had this ready. We saw them make this change um, on the fly, guys. Uh, All right, so boom, there we go. All right, so yeah, uh, the group inside the group, you should be able to um, to uh, get that done. So um, let's see here, what we're doing. All right, all right. So uh, what's what's that? Uh, let me clear this. Um, what's the address? It is a 205 Red Oak Road. And that um, is in Bridgeport. Connecticut? Yes. Okay, boom. So it's land also. 
All right. Um, let's zoom. I may have already did this for somebody. Uh, so let's zoom out here. So remember, we're going to set all filters and hit apply, deselect all, do lots of land. And we're in this area right here. So we're red oak road. Okay, right here. Okay, so we got a little activity here, which is good, right? Okay, so I'm going to capture these two up here. The only reason I don't want to, well, I'll probably do this one too because it's not right. Well, that may be right on the water. Um, I'm going to capture these two up here mainly. All right, so ours, let me make it the target. Okay, and let's do these. I think it's three of them, actually. Let's see, so. Hit apply. All right, so let's add those two. Okay, okay. Zonks for land. So that's what we got here. So ours is only 0.24. And this one is 0.31. It's sold for 175 uh, back in 21. This one is a lot bigger, that lot there. Uh, we really can't use that. It's, it's going by a different price point. So let's do this. So it appears that it's probably worth around 135 or so. So I would try to get it. Um, I will make an offer at half of that, which is, what is that? Um, maybe like 70,000, right around 70,000 or so. And uh, hopefully be able to move it for 90 to 100 is what I would offer on something like that. Okay. Um, now, way you, way, a way you can phrase that, let's see what the county says it's worth real quick. Um, so using a, a deulator, you can access prop string through deulator five-day free trial. You can go here and let's see what the county says because if they won't give you a price, um, and I have that in the script that's made available in the group, for land, uh, what do they say it's worth? So they're saying the assessed value is is um is forty one nine. That's definitely where I would start at. So um, let me find the uh, script work. Let me stop sharing and then I'm gonna pull it up because I want them to if they unless they already know what they're asking or whatever. So um, let me find it here here it is okay so back to sharing uh, 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 uh. all right so uh this last part down here um all right so if they won't give you a price uh, just in a nutshell, and you can say this all kind of different ways, but the, the last part is what I'm really focused on is mm -hmm. that um, could you suggest a ballpark figure or perhaps consider the county's appraised value as a starting point, right? Now, some people say, oh, no, my, my land is worth double that. So, you know, you'll take uh, 85000 for it. You know, so that, that's where you have to hit them. So, because... Technically, they've given you a price, you know, because you know it's it's valued at basically forty two thousand right here, forty one thousand nine sixty. So forty two thousand times two is you know eighty four. So we'll just say eighty five thousand. So you take eighty five thousand for it. Now they may say, yeah, I'll, I'll take the assessed value that the land. Oh, you 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 could should be that should be a decent payday, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, just wanted to share that. So. He was saying that he, I guess he sent you an email with some information about their property. Gary yeah, Roth. that's what I said. I thought I thought we discussed that already um, a couple of times, actually. Um, I, I don't know where you emailed him because I'm, I'm pretty, I, I got to catch up with emails from, from yesterday. But before that, 
I was pretty caught up on the email, so I'm pretty sure I replied. He said he said a hundred to 150k, and he is all in at 65. That's some. Um, Wait a minute. So, what's that? This is the same property. Uh huh. Uh, he said a hundred to 150, and he is all in at 65. I don't know what that means. Oh, that means he has a contract on it for 65 or whatever. Okay, okay. I think I remember that property. I think I told him, um, I don't know, I, like I said, I, I think I actually sent a video or something to explain it, and hopefully it was the same thing I just said, but when I looked at that assessed value, I think that's where we want it to be. I think I actually said below that amount in reality, because um, how big are the, uh, well, I know I eliminated that particular property, so... Um, and I think this property up here, because it's closer to this major highway, but ideal, I think I want, I totally need to probably be around 30 something, you know, to sail around that or whatever, just remembering this particular property. Right. I thought I hadn't evaluated it before. You know, if you're having trouble selling it, you know, the market is telling you that it's, it's overpriced. It's that simple. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if if the market is not, yeah, saying that that's a deal, it's not a deal. Yeah, you have it at sixty five. I'm assuming you're marketing it for more than that. You know, well, I don't know. Even after seventy, seventy five, eighty, if the if the market is telling you, I can sit up and talk all day and give you numbers, and you put it out there, assuming you're putting it in enough and enough eyeballs are seeing it. You know, then I'm wrong because the the market is going to tell you if it's priced right. You know, and I. I, I and, it that begs to differ a, a uh, question that I, I wanted you to. I mean, not you don't have to spend a long time on it, but the yeah. fact that sometimes because I've done it too, like early on when I first started wholesaling, sometimes you'll get a deal and you spend so much time on it, and it's taken away from you finding another deal. Find another mm -hmm. deal, yeah. Don't fall in love with a property. You know, the market mm -hmm. will tell you if, if if you're right or if I'm right, if I'm wrong, or whatever. You know, it's going to make sense of it done. I think I actually told him not. I, well, I told him we wouldn't be interested in, in it. In a, at 65. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I told him. So. Well, he was saying, I guess he said he didn't get the response there. That was a different property that you come from, you know, but. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Well, well, on this one here, I don't know how much he's uh, marketed the property at uh, or whatever. So, but you guys. You know, you got it at 65, you know, put it out there. Like I said, 85, 90, see what happens. You know, when I say put it out there, you want to definitely try to put it on Facebook Marketplace, uh, place it in some Facebook groups locally to that area. Um, even uh, I, what you also could do is like uh, we'll just go to for sale. And it's not a lot of ton of activity in here where there are listed properties, but um if you go, if you, well, I'll just show you guys. Okay. So if I go ahead and just, just, uh, just hone in and just build a little list here of all of these, these listed properties here. And sometimes agents just get their hands on properties and is this get their hands on properties and, um, you know, doing lots or, or, or land in general is really not their thing. Or whatever so um if there's a lot of activity normally you can filter out and see who that is right so if i slide over here so valerie now of course these are this is like a subdivision situation right here so that's not really what we're looking for but she still may know she's in here a couple of times but i would call all these people and get their opinion mm -hmm. on on the value of that property right okay you that know and you just let them know that um you know you're well you're going to buy it or whatever of course they're going to try to turn it over into a listing as they should uh but um but um i i would uh that's where i would start to try to get maybe a second opinion on it you know hopefully uh and you make an extend out on this what i just did here and gather in more but i was trying to stay closer to the area where the property is located so makes sense uh okay let's see the next one is from rod 21474 
and the property address is 3900 West 17th. And that's in Cleveland, Ohio. It says it's livable. Electrical needs updated. I guess he just going over the repairs. Okay. So we're going to add that. Hit the map. Zoom out. So we're in this area down here. Should be pretty simple. Reset all filters. Change to sold. Should light up like a Christmas tree. Deselect all houses. Ton Look at the last last 90 days. Love that amount of activity, which you'll get that in a city of that size. Uh, let's look at the last six months instead. All right. So I should be able to capture all of these. So remove the boundary, hit the draw tool. I'm just stay above this street right here. Right. All of that will be in play as that particular neighborhood slash subdivision. I'll add all of these. So this one should give us enough data to make a really informed decision here. So okay, so boom. All right, so ours was the 3900. We make that the target. It's a 1902 build. Um some of these are a little newer, but most of this will be in play, which is cool. All right, so I'm going to remove this this really low one down here and this one. Um, okay, so we got these in the 130, 142, a 1924, 14, a 1906. All right, so I'm going to remove these two at the bottom also. Mm -hmm. uh, before I do that, let me look at the condition. Okay, cool. Um all right, I'm going to remove those two. So those are easy to remove because we're looking for the highest point that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I can go ahead and remove this one, the one that's 138 per square foot. And the reason they did that was because they're trying to get this, this average sale price also. As you notice, 130, 142, 143 is mm -hmm. because this property here, I mean, it's such, so, such, so much smaller in these other properties they made the adjustment in the price per square foot to get here All and right, when so you say they are you saying appraisers um, oh not not uh zillow yeah the appraisers yeah oh that price okay yeah, yeah. uh okay. so i'm gonna eliminate that so that should give us our real number right so right around 144 uh 248 all right so if i hit the calculator so um i'll make it so if it's livable we got the numbers over here so 145 so that's basically about 14,500 so we'll just mm -hmm. say 15,000 is what you're trying to make which would be 10% of that number and livable so uh pretty decent size house 18 almost 1900 square foot feet so uh we're looking at you know below 40,000 to accomplish this 15,000 amount and you're going to put it back out there around 55,000 right the black number Red number okay. to sell to the black number to buyer. Okay. Now I'm not using exact numbers. I just round up to make so I don't have to say thirty eight thousand five hundred and twenty four. So uh, all of this is negotiable, of course. Now keep in mind, now the house may not need that much work, fifty grand basically. You have to be subjective on that. You know what I'm saying? So it really only probably about twenty. It just needs to be painted. It's already been updated recently. It just needs to, you know, just some brush some TLC. But it's, it's almost 19 on the square foot, so that could still be pricey. So, but based on if it needs everything updating, but it's uh, pretty much still in a really good condition, then this is probably an accurate number. Now, if it's not livable, that's going to change everything drastically. So now you're going to have to get this house 10000 or so. Yeah. Put it back out there. Took out the repairs uh, over 75000 Right, easily on something, especially as old as it is, also over 100 years old, 100 almost 125 years old. Yeah, you can get in there and find some, some crazy stuff that yeah. can be really expensive, and this may not even be enough. All right, so boom. Okay, uh, now this next one it seems like this is a single family home, a auto repair shop, and industrial land. And he 
looks like he's giving me two addresses. Josh is uh looks like three twin three two one. Well, the, the house I'm only gonna be able to evaluate. Those other two, it's it's totally different ball game. Okay. If they're if they're all on the same property, I'm only really evaluating the house. The house. Okay. I got kids. No way I can do a, a shop and the warehouse and the warehouse I can sort of figure out, but it it is that's too technical. I, I have to do too much. And 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 that's your thought process also. Also, when you giving a price, um, or, you know, whatever you feel like you would pay for that house, you know, because yeah. a lot of times people will call you and they got all this other extra stuff, but you don't know what to price it at, and that's probably why you're asking, you know. Yeah. Oh. Um, it sounds like um. I have to. I will look at a Google Maps ver version of it. But okay. What, what was you gonna say? It sound like what? Oh, what, yeah. What's what's the address of the three twenty one Allen Street? I'm assuming this is the house. Uh, three twenty one Allen Street. What city? And that is looks like Springfield, Massachusetts. Okay. Hmm. He's giving the um, square footage of stuff, so I'm trying to hmm. decipher like it. That. Didn't like that address. Didn't come up. Um, okay. I guess it shows it. also a three one three. Well, yeah. See that that's the uh, that's the address of the. Um, oh, it, okay. It must be all there together. That's the business. So Zillow is not going to pull that up, right? Okay. So, it, so is it this right here? I guess. Is that a house right beside it or something? Uh, let me do this. He gave I, me three I, one I, I three it out. Allen Street as well. Eight three one three Allen Street. Maybe that's. The... Mm -hmm. But let me do this real quick. Let me. Yeah. Where is Mass? It has a small state. All right. Um, so we have this owner right here, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess he owned all of this back here, all of this. I guess this may be where the house is. Um, let me see. Yeah. See, that's where the house is at uh, um, 313. 313. Right? Three, yep. Yep. Yeah. And then he has all this other he stuff. He owns here. all of that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's 0. 0.26 acres. And then this here is 0.24, and then that's point. Uh, so, so you're basically about an acre, right? Um, mm -hmm. Probably a little more than that. Let me see. Well, he, Let me do this. Put, yeah, he said 1.24 acres together, all together. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, He, he want to sell it all, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It may be an opportunity in that sense. Let me see. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Undo. Uh, undo. Okay. Wait a minute. Undo. 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 Are you what you're doing? Are you working on getting the square footage? Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to measure this entire property here. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, basically what he said about 1.3 or so. Mm. So, yeah, so that's the entire property there. It's a little like it's three different parcels there. So, um, okay. All right. This is interesting. All right, so um, Springfield. So let's let's look at the house side of it. All right, and so it's saying one sixty six. So we'll add that, make it the target. So um, let's copy that. At. All right, and so we'll zoom out. 
So it's in this area right here, right? Mm -hmm. So where Warehouse Street and what is that? Uh, a mini, a midi circle. Okay. So it's in this area right here. Okay. All right. So let me reset the filters. Let's do houses only. Okay. So uh which i can already see this but i'm, I'm gonna add them in here but um looks like that's what the houses are selling for so i'm gonna do the draw to and we'll stay on this side of the street just go right here hit apply add those three how did he give a price on what he wants to sell it for let's see he did not um he didn't okay um all right so uh i'm asking you now time asking yeah so 1870 um build uh most of this is very old over 100 years old so we'll go with all of it um so yeah, that that house, you know, um, his is a lot bigger than these. Um, I don't know if he can get that value back out of it uh, at three nineteen. Uh, instead of three nineteen, I would be more comfortable at two fifty for the house, as far as an ARV. Uh, now the rest of it. Uh, so let's do this. Um, I like to look at it in prop stream. It helps me identify. Oh, he's, he's he's saying Ty, he's what? asking eight hundred and seventy k for the entire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's in La La Land. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, he's in La La Land. <laughs> yeah, so that's the house right there, and then this the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in La La Land. I have no yeah. idea what this other stuff would be valued at, you know what I'm saying? So, because it, it would really just be a land play or whatever. Um, yeah. I have no idea what this other stuff would be valued at. So, yeah, yeah uh, he's in La La Land on that. A7. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot. If you were just going to do the house by itself, um, and I'm going to change this to 250. Yeah. Hit apply. Say you want to make twenty five on it. That's ten percent of two fifty. <sighs> you know you don't. You know that's just. You know it looks like it needs a lot of work. Yeah. Too. So if I say not livable, you know the house. Uh, did I change that? Let me see. I'll change it here. So we're talking. You know to make money for you, the house seventy grand. Now, it could be some owner fine, but he's way out. You're so you're so far way off. You know, this is yeah. just not a consideration. Uh, yeah. He basically asking a million dollars. In he basically asked a million dollars for it. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. no. yeah. Um, it's in a weird place too. Like it's really yeah. in a residential area. Uh, let's see here. Let me let me make sure I know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. So that so wait a minute. That same one. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's basically in a residential area and he, he has some commercial in the middle of it, but mm -hmm. it's just in a weird place. You know what I'm saying? So, and obviously he probably feels like that commercial <laughs> side is worth yeah. a whole lot more than the house, but yeah. And, um, just to look at it real quick, uh, let's see what the assessed value It may be assessed, you know, fairly high or whatever. So, okay. um, let's, let's look at the commercial side of it um the county says wow they only say um the county only says that one the first lot the commercial is only worth thirty seven thousand thirty six nine right and then this other one right here he's 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 saying that he um says it was appraised at 870k yeah, one thirteen account. Now you can't always go by this, but I'm just using that as a somewhat type of uh, some type of measuring stick or whatever. So, 
Yeah. All right. So yeah. What do you think he the guy means when he says it was a praise for eight seven? Oh, he may have had somebody go out there and appraise it. You know, I don't think nobody gonna pay for it. Pay that. True. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hope he didn't waste that bread. Exactly. And then he could, and then he could be lying. Right. You know. Yeah. So it's another thing. <laughs> it could be lying. No. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Like, oh yeah. You're trying to get you to buy it. You know. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, now we've been rolling pretty hard. We've been rolling an hour here. Um, let me see. My bad. Um, stop the share. Yeah, we've been rolling an hour here. So, um, so what we'll do is, so you can uh, join the group. Um, you can just text the word "group." Let me remove this banner real quick. Text the word group to the 205-964-5243. I think we'll try to do this again Friday around 12 noon again. But in the meantime, if you just post your uh, property in the group, um, we'll, we'll, we'll comp it there or whatever. So and normally what I'll do is I'll just send you um, a screenshot of this. And, you know, the, you know, the red number is what you should offer. And I'll assume you're trying to do the 10% of the ARV. Which will be on this situation will be twenty five thousand, and um, uh, and then but you can make your own adjustments. Whatever you can go over there, use the calculator here, or on digulator .com, which is also the place where you can get the access to the contract, which is still free as of today, and the contract for land, and then the calculators also the calculator. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so um, what we got? So. So boom, uh, we got it in, guys. Um, we decided to put it out there in all the other uh, platforms. So we'll try to keep you updated on the days we're doing. You, it, it always try to probably be around noon Eastern, so you can you know check local listings to adjust mm -hmm. to your time zone. So appreciate uh, Torian helping us out no again. Problem, no problem. Um, uh, join the group. Post your. Um, Post your comps there. We're trying to um, make that group a lot more, a lot more active. And I know that's one of the ways to do it because, as I said, that's the number one reason why most people fail at this because they never get um, the part of knowing what's a great deal or not. So uh, tomorrow we'll have tomorrow night's flipping R as normal around nine nine thirty. So um, just hit us up. Uh, don't forget, you know, uh, we still would love to partner with you. On the self storage, we have to go in a different direction. Instead of using Zoms, I have another option. So all you have to do is text the word. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Chop. Uh, C H O P means chopping up the bread. <laughs> text the word chop C H O P two zero five nine six four five two four three to get the updated. Uh, tool to uh, to build your list for self storage, so you can start making a call. And the script is there, the updated script is there also, because we're taking the approach now. We're going to be letting sellers know indirectly that we're wholesaling their property. It just go a lot smoother there, allow you to get into a lot bigger deals also. So, um, uh, with that being said. Um, good night, folks. We'll see you on the flip side. The flip side, all right. Yeah. Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Cash, yeah. Bag.